Here we are guys and welcome back to the channel. It's me Bassman, hello. And great to be out with you, the wingman. Hello guys. Hello mate. <laughs> thanks, thanks for, thanks as for, always thanks mate. Thanks for turning up. <laughs> Late again. Yeah mate. We are here. Beautiful check sunset. It, check it out mate. Look. You know, it just puts me to shame in front of it. And I, mean, yes, I don't know which is brighter. No. <laughs> it's got cold again tonight and we were going to go to uh, Devil's Point tonight, yes, Devil's. But uh, I, I've said to Brett, no, it's northwest wind. We'll be like that. Be moaning after an hour. It's cold, isn't it? So we've come up here for some pongering. So yes, but wingman's just arrived. I've just logged the mackerel out, and we're fishing out over. I'm going to fish out over the reef, and I'm going to fish one in quite close because it's really coloured the water, and they could, anything could happen. Yeah, but it's a really small tide, so that's not brilliant. But hey, we've got some really nice bait today from the mar from the market, didn't I, mate? Yes, mate. Came up trumps, Top fresh notch. cuttle, fresh mackerel. Oh yeah. Here we go, baby. Are you ready, son? Watch this space. Are you ready, viewers? <laughs> Let's go fishing, guys. What's in the bag? What's in the bag? Fresh cuttle fish. Woohoo! Fresh mackerel. At the tea bar, waiting for the wingman. Captain Hook got the big gear out tonight on the Tamar. Yes, here we are. Three hours before low. And the water's like chocolate. But um, I'm still going to catch a conger eel, I reckon. Come round here, it's northwest wind. We was thinking about going over the other side. Let's see what happens here tonight. Lovely. Welcome along. Here we go, is my uh, nice offering there. Macarelli. I'll just cut the tail off just to stop it spinning. Yes, beautiful. As usual, guys. Everybody knows the score. Knit one, do one. Now I do mine a little bit different to Paul's. Paul likes going knit, across the sorry, back. Sorry, did you say knit one, do, do one? one. <laughs> I think that's knit one, pearl one, son. Right? Don't tell everybody to do one. Right, no. carry on, carry on, sorry. Right, so do one. Paul, one like, Paul likes going across the back. I like coming in and going along the side. So, so in the side. Down the other side. Most important thing now, going through the gill, or and then straight out through that head. All right? Hell yeah. As we can see. There you go, get it out there. Get it out there. I reckon I save gloves. Accidentally from the garage. <laughs> right. Got some nice small cuttle there from the market today for me and Brett. Nice. And there's me rotten bottom link for in a minute when that goes on. And uh, yeah, the hook's a bit rusty. It's been used, but it's still very, very sharp. So that's all that matters with a hook. I don't care if it's rusty. If it's sharp and rusty, I'll use it. So, Yes, they're quite small, aren't they? Yes, mate. They're nice. Quite size. Oh, that's nice, that one. Right, so in here you've got the cuttle. So you've actually got the, it's not a bone, it's um, calcium, isn't it? Yeah. And sometimes you get a little heart shape in there. You almost did that. But that is, you know, 100% biodegradable. So that goes in the tide. Yeah, so I always go in through the top and out the bottom first, all right? Because I want to work on this side, not this side. Um, but you can actually bury the hook in there. But the problem is that you've lost your 
lost his securing point. Yeah, yeah. When you, if you want to do that up, it's never going to be tight in that gap. Finished, it? You know, it just, it just doesn't work for me, but this does. Right, so in and out. And the ink, the ink sacks back here as well. So nine times out of 10, you might hit that. It doesn't matter. Right, so then I always aim to go out the little breathing, the blowpipe, which is here. So I go in like that and then just, oh, I just missed it, did I get it? Oh, kind of, yeah. So confidently in and out. And then I just get my, uh, I'll take the tentacles off because they're a pain in the ass. And then I'll just wrap them up quickly. Right, I literally put a few turns on. Look at that coming out of there, mate. Oh, right, now see that, right, I want this up around the head. So what I do now is look, I'll bunch that up. So it kind of disguises the hook like that. So it's a bit yeah. more disguised, yeah? And then I'll just wrap the rest up and squeeze it really tight. There you go. Just work on that eye there. And I don't want to leave too much of this big string out there. So that's about it for me. And then I'll just go around. And that's a nice bait, isn't it? Yes, mate. That is a really nice bait, that. I'm quite excited about that, actually. And then where's the tentacle? So what I took off earlier, I'm not very dexterous with these gloves on, but I just don't like cuttle ink. So I'll just push that on there, just to disguise that. So then when Mr. Eel comes along, he'll go, mm, oh yeah, that's nice, I'll have that. And by the time he knows it, I'll have struck. Yes, there you go. One sexy cuttlefish bait, sir. Yes. Right, like handsome, sir. Mate, look. Oh my goodness. Yes. Come on in, mate. I reckon cast. Let's go at night. Bass man's delight. <laughs> oh, hang on. Well, was, I've got to do one thing first. Put the weight on. I've got to tie it on <laughs> to my rod. Right. Just um, tying this on. This is a figure of eight knot, okay? So that I've gone through the line. There's my 2 0 swivel. And I've just got that pinched. And all you have to do is go around the, go around the main line, pinch. Go around again. I'm keeping this big. I don't usually do it this big. And then all you do is go through those two, two circles there. And here, this bit here flips over to make the eight. I'll turn it round. And now you've got the eight. See it? All right. Figure of eight. Figure of eight knot. And that's what I use on a lot of my rigs. And it's also a very low profile knot. This is 40 pound main line. So it's a very small so, knot. So a question to ask. So at what point would you stop tying that knot with what strength line? 15 pounds. 15 pounds? 10, 15 pounds, pound. it gets a bit. Dicey then, doesn't it? Yeah, and also braid, no. Nope. Right, let's get this out. Hopefully I'm not tip wrapped. Oh, what a backdrop, man. <laughs> <laughs> this is more like it, mate. What a night. See, mate, I wasn't late. I arrived at the perfect time. Yeah, Action shot. It's as far as I could get that, really. Is that 40, 50 yards? Yeah. Oh, don't shut the bail on. So yes, it's quite deep. It's still going down. That's it. No, it's still going down. That's it. Yeah, it's very deep there. Well, here we are, guys and girls. What a night. Look at that. Just that whole, the water's lit up pink and blue and actually looks quite um, abstract. Very nice. Dockyards and warships, dockyard and warships. Fully loaded.
That on, mate. Cut off. He's engulfed that. There you go, look. Will I get it over the reef? I think he's on, mate. Yeah. Yeah. He's on. No. Ain't very big if it is. I think he's off, mate. Oh, what a shame. That was a good start. Oh, never mind. So, mate, that was the uh, results of your bite there, was it? Yeah, look. Fract fractured line slightly. And that's how it came back. So he's had a right chomp on that, and he's, he's had, giving you a right suck. He's had, a, he's had, a, <laughs> he's had mate, the head. He's had a result getting off that, hasn't he? Yeah. He's lucky boy there. Yeah. Damn it. Damn it. I thought that was a, a nice, easy start there. It was a nice slow bite as well, wasn't it? Yeah, mate. Right. Well, then we've only just started, so you know, positive mental attitude. Surely we can't be done for the third time. No, mate. No, we ain't having a blank tonight. Uh, round two. All right, here we go. Let's get my bright light on a minute. Here we go. All right, so just had a bite there on the right hand rod, a slow pull over. And just check it's still tight. All right, so I just had a bit of a bite there and then it just stopped and Brett's just had a bite on the right hand rod. Which one's going to go first? Yeah, you look at my rod and I'll look at yours. Yeah, all right. <laughs> very, very cagey. Oh yeah, it looked like it was on, didn't it? Mm, they've been a bit fussy, aren't they? We're getting the bites and uh, nothing comes of it. Hit it, mate. Ah, it was pulling over as well, wasn't it? Yeah. They always go for the softest part, which is the head. Brett was unlucky there. So have you seen guys like my bait came back in and he just taken the head. So I've uh, using the power of putty back, I put a smaller cuttle on yep. and the point is just there. Right. So uh, yes, we shall see. Right, here we are, bite number 63. <laughs> Feels like it, doesn't it? Yeah, mate. We've had so many chances. Well, we've had about half a dozen chances. Hugo. Hugo. Hello, Hugo. You're a lovely boy, aren't you? Are you scared of me? Are you scared of the bass man? Hello, boy. Yeah, not many people know they got black tongues. Have you got a they? black tongue? Have you got a black tongue? Have you got a black tongue? Even rarer, aren't they? Have you got a black tongue? Yeah, they yeah. Are actually, yeah. He's a good boy. I saw boy. there was a lady around Saltram the other day who was walking one in a black tongue. It's like a teddy bear. And I was trying to explain to my young son that uh, mm -hmm. he had a uh, you lovely, eh? black tongue. Right, here we go. We finally got straight on it. Pump and wine, mate. <coughs> Go on, son. I think he's off. Oh. Not again. Didn't get the point. Uh, uh, mauled. Let's have a look. Oh, <laughs> my. Yeah, that, te that tells you that was what that was. Yeah. A strap. Let's have a look. <laughs> yes, the bait of shame. Here we go, Brett. Strap X for me. Tiny Tim, I think. <laughs> Go 
<laughs> Tiny Tim, look. I think that's as much as he can pull the rod over. <laughs> yes, a nice fillet. Nice fillet. Could it be? So many chances, it's starting to get a bit ridiculous, isn't it? Yeah. But only a couple of decent, you know, chances, bigger fish, I think. Come on, just take it. Right hand rod. They are really messing about with it tonight. Hey, Mum needs to tell them to stop playing around with your fish. No, but the bad news is if there's small eels out oh, there, there's no. not much chance it's of anything. Big eel. No. Not good. Is it an eel? Hey! <laughs> the wingman. First deal of the night. Or Straparooni. Straparooni. I think he's done me on the air. Uh... Yeah, he swallowed the bait. Swallowed the bait. Right down. <laughs> Little blighter never even told me he was on there. Just wound in and it was on. Yeah. It? yeah it's one of those nights tonight where we just don't know what's going on. Oh well, good luck with that. Yeah, unfortunately, we've got a bit of uh, music in the background right up the end there, so I hope you can't hear that. Strike, strike away, son. Jammed in. So there you go, that's what, 15 foot up the line. And Brett was over some sort of structure there. And it went pop. Yeah. Pop goes the weasel. Oh, nice bait as well. Turn the hook in, I bet. Yes. Done a number. Yeah. Where's the hook? What there? Yeah. <sighs> unlucky, mate. That was unlucky. He's turned you in like a good and honey oh. naughty naughty sir I just broke my own rule there and i was texting <laughs> the missus which i don't usually do and i looked up and what do we have what do we have here sir a bite well it was <laughs> anything for a bite sir camera shy <laughs> there we go there you hey. go oh yeah it's massive <laughs> <laughs> Let him have the hook, son. Swimming away with it, look. Is he? Yeah. Probably just went into his hiding place there. Yeah. He's probably done me there. Quite a bit of slack line there, wouldn't there? So he picked it up and swam towards me, back into his hole, the devil. Yep. Something there. Oh. Oh. It's better. What's this, mate? What's this? On. Yeah, he 
Go on, on Sam. He's on there, look. Go on. <laughs> he, he stopped you there, didn't he? He stopped me in my tracks there, mate. <laughs> I wouldn't have none of that. I'm not going to go and see the bass, man. Oh, hell, <laughs> mate. Look. That's a nice skill. Look at that one. Yeah, he's on a load of weed. That's why he's not liking it, mate. Do you want me to handline this? Come off. Oh. That was a nice eel, mate. Can you see it? Yeah. What was that? Got it on camera. It was a nice eel. Yeah, all right. He was 12, 13, maybe 14. Yeah. Oh my God, guys. And that's why he come off, mate. That is it. That, that is it. That was, uh, did you see it on the water, did you? Yeah. Yeah, mate. It never gets any easier. No. Because that fish was properly up, wasn't he? And see, he's, tea he's probably got in that weed and he's gone backwards and forwards and t barred himself off. And look, mate. Sharp as, sharp as a whistle. You can't get any sharper than that. Look. You could catch my nail with that. It's that sharp, look. Yeah. Right, so there you go. It's just, it's just I haven't had any luck lately. <sighs> just eel fishing for you, mate. Yeah, and it's always, I don't know, we just seem to lose out. You know, it was right there, wasn't it? Yeah. Looking like that. Yeah. The one chance of the night. <sighs> well, there we are, guys. That's it from, uh, that's about it from us tonight. That's, that's the last straw for me, I think. <laughs> what do I have to do to get a decent eel, actually land one, you know? Like, so close, man. Yeah, he always makes a shame. He was on the surface, like he'd, he'd stopped me twice in the fight. You know, that's a 15 pound eel all day long, isn't it? Yeah. You know, I don't care what you say. That speaks volumes to me. I know when I've got a decent fish on. But anyway, that's that's fishing, that's eeling, they come off. The hook was the sharpest hook ever me, ever created, forged in, the, in Mordor, in the great fires of Mordor, that hook, do you know what I mean? There's nothing wrong with my gear. Uh, yeah, it's just unlucky. Just that's why it's called fishing, isn't it? Yes, mate. Not catching that old shit saying. <laughs> whoever, whoever thought of that? Yes. So yes, yeah, so we have come down here tonight, and hope you've enjoyed the show. Uh, we've enjoyed making it, haven't we? Yes, mate. It's been a bit. Uh, it's been a bit tame tonight. Uh, it is a Monday night, you know. So it's uh, school well, night. Yeah, it's a school night, so we are a bit subdued tonight. But yes, that was a cracking eel there, guys. So I hope you appreciate that. The um, the effort that went in. Yes, so we'll be back. He'll be back. I'm determined to get a big eel from the tame on now. That's it. Gloves That's it. Are, gloves are off, mate. That is it. Does that mean you get rid of the petrol station gloves? No, but <laughs> that's it now. That is game on, man. I am that. I'm pissed off now. Yeah. I'm actually pissed off now because you know that that makes the video. That that double figure eel, however big it was, it's the difference between you know. A good screenshot, you know, holding up a big fish, and it makes people want to go and click, you know. And lately, my videos have just been rod shots. <laughs> <up there. laughs> yeah, we've caught congas, but they haven't been that big, you know. No, They've right. been like quite small. So yes, thanks very much for tuning in, guys. And please share the love, hit the like, you know, put a comment in. Even though we haven't actually landed much tonight, we've, we've certainly tried our, our best, haven't we? Yes, mate. And it was all about the cuttlefish tonight. Not one stinking bite, oddly, on the mackerel, oh, was it? No, it was wasn't, putting, mate. I was putting pilchard on it and everything. So, yeah, figure that out. Fresh mackerel, and they want the cuttlefish. So, there you go. The cuttlefish is the best bait, and I don't care what anybody says. So, yes, I'm going to wind in this other weed-ridden rod now, and we are going to make our way back home, and I'm going to edit this video to the best of my ability. And sulk. And sulk, <laughs> yes. <laughs> and I might have a beer, actually, because I'm that pissed off so yes this is pissed off bass man i'm signing off I'm, smi I'm smiling on the outside but on the inside i'm like Fuck. yes so yes 
See you soon, guys, and tight lines. Tight lines, everybody.